literal legends. It's a lot like Mythbusters, but probably a lot more accurate. And also, it's on YouTube. So, yeah, this is Literal Legends, peeps. Episode 1 of Literal Legends. Today we'll be talking about the Loch Ness Monster. Now, guys, you would think that all the Loch Ness Monster is fake because, honestly, it's just a giant serpent swimming through the waters of Loch Ness and Scotland and blah, 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 blah. And that sounds reasonable enough. And the Loch Ness Monster does exist. But I've been researching this thing since grade two. Wait, no. Wait, one, two, three, four, uh, five. Uh, grade, grade one. I've been researching it since grade one. And, um... Turns out this this thing is no joke. It does exist, sort of, yeah. But it's not. But it's not what people say it is. Okay, so the Loch Ness monster. Where are you? The Loch Ness monster, A.K.A. Nessie. People think is. People show as. A giant serpent swimming through the water of Loch Ness. You've probably seen a million different pictures of the thing. Most of them were hand drawn. If you ever if you've ever seen a real picture of it, it was probably a black and white photo of this thing. The one second. As I was saying, something that probably looks like, like, uh, this thing, like, long neck. Like, you probably only saw, like, the neck part. Um, yeah. That's Guys, I the, the Loch Ness Monster, it's actually an ancestor of the, uh, you either pronounce it Plesiosaur or Plesiosaur. Anyway. It is an, it not an ancestor, a um, relative, but a descendant of the plesiosaur. And I'm not talking about whales, because those are more leopleurodons, these giant, massive things in the water that had flippers but no long neck. And they were kind of like a mosasaur, but with round heads. And you all know what a mosasaur is from Jurassic Park, so yeah. Although the mosasaur was actually about a meter bigger than it was shown in Jurassic Park. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic, aren't I? So, um, the, um... Okay. Studies show studies show that plesiosaurs and a lot of other animals like whales sometimes and other stuff actually eat a lot like camels do. So that so they don't have to eat for a while. They don't ex they can just regurgitate their food and then re eat their food until all the nutrients is gone, which will which would take about what did it say? One, two, three, four um about a week. So yeah, and there's not that many fish in Loch Ness. Like, there's a lot of fish, but for a giant plesiosaur, there wouldn't be a lot, so it can just be like, I'm like a camel, bro. So, yeah. That is the... That is... Not enough proof, but... I'll show you some more. 
All right, this is the original photo of the Loch Ness Monster. See the resemblance of the plesiosaur? Another photo of the Loch Ness Monster that the British government actually said was true. But you probably haven't seen this. But look at the patterns on this thing. Look at the patterns on the neck. Now look, look back on the patterns of this thing's neck. Exactly the same. And the thing is, you can tell that that, uh, that those pictures weren't animated. You, and weren't like photoshopped or anything. You can, you can tell, honestly. I, I, ha, I have, maybe not you, but I have the gift of being able to tell what is real and what is fake. And the patterns on the neck for both of those things were exactly the same. So, they, they're obvious, it's obvious, plus the, the last one, like, the last one that looked like it was underwater, the up close, was actually by a scuba diver. He lost his, he, but then he lost his arm after he flashed the photo because it scared, because it scared the plesiosaur, so, yeah. There's even bite marks on it. To this day, there's still bite marks on his arm because of the plesiosaur. It wouldn't. It wouldn't go after him. Like plesiosaurs only eat small fish. About because their head is like. There. One second. The plesiosaur head is about. The head of a plesiosaur is about this big. So, just like and this. See. So, it would only eat, it only eats small fish, okay? And the thing's not huge compared to other things. Because, like, it's not, a la it's not an elasmosaur, but it's a relative of the elasmosaur. The only thing that, that, that proves it isn't an elasmosaur, well, the elasmosaur had a neck about the length of my room from here to my door right come on get it at a good angle here there that's a long way but in these pictures it isn't that long and also and also the um wait what's this wait I'm just going to turn the brightness up because it's dark in here. There. Okay. So, then. Hi, Mommy. The video? I'm recording. So. Alright, so the, ple the elasmosaur had, but in these pictures, its body, the, the plesiosaur's body, is only about, it's about the size that you could ride this thing without it being massively huge like the T-Rex. It's about... It's about like... The size of this shelf, its body, about the size of this shelf. So, from here, from here, to about here, and the height of it is n of my shelf is not the actual height. It's only like see one square, two square, three squares of my shelf. Okay, that's how high the body would be, and that's how long the body would be. So, he, yeah, and it's, um, honestly not that big, even though, I, but I know it's not a, like, it's obviously not a dinosaur, because these days, all dinosaurs are, are birds, so, it's definitely not a dinosaur. And 
also, I th on honestly guys, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything, but there is actually sufficient proof that the British government might be hiding the Loch Ness Monster. Because, in 1933, they said it was fake. And then, after they said that the Loch Ness Monster itself was completely fake, well, they went on a search for it in submarines. And guess what? They actually found they actually found something bigger than the size of a fish and had the same like and ha and the ex and was about the size of a small was about the size of a small whale like like beluga like a small beluga whale and then they kept looking and guess and guess what Proof it's a plesiosaur. It was in one of, it was in one of the caves underwater. Cause Loch Ness is also known for its caves. So, and the caves are nothing but air. They don't have water in them. And plesiosaurs were like whales and dolphins. They breathed air. Because they're mammals. So. That's also proof. And if you want more proof. If you want more proof. Then. Look up. Is the British government hiding the Loch Ness Monster? Or I'll just leave a link in the description. Okay? So. Now that that's over with. I got to pause the video. Where is the pause thingy? And the thing about this picture is, it's not who uploaded it, but the British government actually confirmed this photo was real. It was taken by one of their, like, like, head scuba divey people things. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. You should believe me. If you don't, I could understand that, but honestly, please believe me, because I'm telling the truth. I've been researching these things since grade one.